procedure of wine tasting? Absolutely. Um, well, depending on the, on the cultivars that the farm have, um, we usually start with a Mythica Classique or a sparkling wine. From there you move on to the white wines in descending order from the, the easiest drinking to the more heavier, say, a fully wooded Chardonnay. Um, from there you'll, you'll drink a Rosé if the farm does have one. And then, then you'll, obviously then you'll move on to the red wines, which are a lot more heavier, starting, say, with a Merlot and ending with a heavier wine like a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Pinotage. And if the farm does have a sweet wine, then you'll, you'll have, say, other ports or a Muscadel or some, some dessert wine. Lavernet has won uh, numerous prizes for their wine, uh, both internationally and locally. Which wine is your uh, most famous? Um, well, I'd say we have two, our flagship white and red. Um, our Grand Vin Chenin Blanc um, is very um, prestigious. It won one of the top 100 wines in the country. And also the Grand Vin Pinotage, um, which is a, you know, it's a fantastic wine. It's consecutively over the years done extremely well. So we're very proud of those two. Can you tell us a bit more about your Pinotage? Um, the Pinotage very, um, it comes from a single, single vineyard block. Um, it's relatively old, 23 year old vines. Uh, it's a bush vine, so it's not um, trellis like normal grapes. It grows straight from the ground, which means it needs a lot more tender loving care. It has to be hand pruned, constantly maintained to cut off dead shoots to, to promote better growth. Um, everything is sprayed by hand and grapes are plucked by, plucked by hand as well. So it, it's a really intricate process, but it's the, the quality of the grapes are exceptional. So. I've always wondered why you spit the wine out when you're tasting it. It always it seems like such a waste. Um, I really don't know. I think that's more for the French. I think it's a waste. Um, yeah, yeah, in South Africa, I think we like uh, drinking our wine uh, and not spitting it out. But then again, if you are driving and you're just there for the tasting and the experience, then spit, I suppose spitting uh, is the better option. Right? Yeah. Lavene Wine Estate, located in the foothills of Simonsbeck Mountains, about five kilometers away from the historic town of Stellenbosch, is indeed a heaven of peace and tranquility, and in the heart of Cape Winelands of South Africa. The Lodge, a four-star luxury accommodation, award-winning wines, and a true hospitality on a working wine farm. So here we're at this park with some beautiful ladies and some guys here. So I'm just going to um, ask them random questions about Cape Town. So um, guys, the first question I just want to know, um, favorite places around Cape Town? Mm, um, Long Street. Yeah, yeah Long Street. Neighborhood in Long Street is an awesome place to go. It's so much fun. Well, there is every year a festival in Simonstown, which is great. You should actually join. You should actually I love go there once. Walk. Canal walk is the best place to be. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, uh, big news. Yes. <laughs> anyway, hi. Hello. <laughs> this is part of Cape Town. This is what we do when they get married. Exactly, exactly. And uh, by the way, how are you feeling? How are you feeling today? I just want to say thank you, thank you to my mom and my dad and all the people that helped me. <laughs> yeah, you like it? You like it? <laughs> it's, ni it's nice, actually. Yeah, I also think it's awesome nice. And it's a lovely day. And uh, actually, I was sent here to get a kiss from all the women. Oh. I wonder if, I wonder if I'm going to succeed with that. Um, um, I'm not sure. I don't know if there's anyone who's... You're, you're a guy. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, well, I think yeah, um, from the perspective of this guy that's getting married, I think ladies... You, sh you all know what this is all about. <laughs> just give him a kiss. Like just give him a kiss yeah. and get over with it. Yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah, this side. Oh, thank you. It's nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This side also. Thank you. Okay, and and. No, 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 please. Before, before, before you go, before. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, that was just awful. <laughs> okay, before you go, um, you know that uh, Table Mountain has been voted uh, among one of seven wonders of yes, nature. Yes, I know about that. Um, how do you feel about that? I think it's a great thing for Cape Town, especially for Cape Town. And I think uh, more people in South Africa know Cape Town than they know Johannesburg. If they come to South Africa, they first come to Cape Town before they go to, to Joburg. And I think it's a good thing, a good thing for Cape Town. I just think the people in Cape Town should... Uh, 
should use the opportunity more to, to, to do some, to be a tourist in Cape Town and, and see some people and see some sites because I think it's, it's, enormous, it's, it's an enormous place. And I just think the people in Cape Town, does not, um, they, they, they do not get out enough. And I think that's the main thing. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, uh, fr from your side, guys, uh, uh, the same question I just asked them. What do you think of uh, Cape uh, Table Mountain being voted one of seven wonders of nature? It's about time. It's about time. Yeah. I think yeah. it's I such a beautiful thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Much, uh, more it's pride, it's much more pride. It's much more pride. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Everybody now together. Just like it came out. More hot women coming to Cape Town. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Okay. Hi, welcome to the World Fest premiere right here on Travel Zone. My name is David and I'm your host. On today's show, we'll be talking to Gavin Raja as he will be giving us a sneak preview of his latest collection as the Fashion Week kicks off in Cape Town. And another topic, as we all know, that we're facing a global disaster called Global Warming. We'll be out and about talking to the people in the streets to try and find out what is it that we are doing to fight global warming. And our final topic for tonight will be at the new musical store at the waterfront in Cape Town to find out what is the must-have collection in terms of music this year. And with all that said, let's check out our first clip, Gavin Roger. Hi and welcome to Hot and Happening. We're coming live from the new musical store at the waterfront in Cape Town. Well, as you can see, we are surrounded by thousands of CDs, so there's definitely something here for everyone. So whether you take hip hop, R&B, rock, or jazz, be sure to find it right here at the amazing new musical. And in tonight's program, we also chat to Freshly Gone lead singer Zolana Mahola about the 2010 Waka Waka song. We also take a trip down Long Street, which is really a mixture of colors, sounds, and people. And Gavin Raja gives us a sneak preview of his collection as the Fashion Week kicks off in Cape Town. That's right. Now tell me, what exactly is better than buying a new CD? Well, I would say definitely catching your favorite band live on stage. Exactly. So last week Friday, we went to the Grand Arena to watch Nickelback in action. Check it out. 